first, I wanted to cover exactly where I found this information. So if you go to this URL right here, it's the mobile uh, Google's mobile blog on uh, blogspot.com. You can kind of get an idea of what this is all about. And again, this is announced just a few days ago. So Thursday, um, they had announced this. What I want to go through, you can obviously go through and read this on your own, but I wanted to show you this right here, right where it says ready for publishers. There's a little link that says self-service platform. We're going to click on that. That basically will take us to this URL right here. So you can see that's the URL you want to go to. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you how to um, create a new edition and actually publish your website's content through the Google Currents app. And when you first log in, you'll probably see something similar to this. It says, obviously, create a new edition. And uh, for example, I'm just going to do one for WP Training Videos, which is my WordPress training videos site. And uh, just going to type in the name there. I'm going to skip these two areas here, but you can, of course, put those in if you'd like. But I'm going to show you where else we can put those in as we go through creating what they call sections. So we're going to create that. And now you can see over here, this is pretty cool. You can see, we can see an Android version of what this particular um, edition looks like. We can see the tablet version. We can see what it looks like on an iPhone or even an iPad. So it gives you a great idea of what your users are going to see. Now, pretty basic information here. We can click a little plus sign or expand that out. You can see here the description. In this case, it's free WordPress training videos at wptrainingvideos.com. And then uh, let's put it in a category of, I don't know, business. Click update, and then we've got our changes there. You can actually edit the icon images that show up. So I'm gonna go ahead and choose a file here. And then I'm gonna go ahead and update that. And then there's an addition splash image that would go over top, same thing. I'm going to add my logo there, click update. Okay, and now this is pretty interesting. So we're going to go ahead and click email collection. I'm going to opt in for this one. And what this will actually do is Google will ask users to provide their email address. Now they don't have to, they can decline if they don't want it, but it is an opportunity to collect email addresses, which I think is pretty cool. Okay. Um, obviously, you'd want a little more of an extensive privacy policy if you were doing this for real. And then also interesting is you can download the collected email addresses. And what you could do for an example would be um, come in every once in a while, download these email addresses, and then invite them to sign up for your site, or in my case, for the um, creative free membership at wptrainingvideos.com, or for whatever purposes you have in mind. Uh, go ahead and click update here. So we save that little area. And then you can set up Google Analytics. Now I'm doing this as an example. I actually have already set up one for WP training videos that's currently live. So I'm not gonna mess too much with this, but you can see here, you just go to Google Analytics. If you already have that set up, you'll see this little UA number on your admin panel and just copy out whatever UA number you want to have um, this being tracked to. So for now I'll hit cancel, but obviously you would put that in and hit update. That's pretty much it on setting up the basic skeleton. Now you can see there's still nothing there. So let's go ahead and start adding what they call sections. And that's similar to um, be chapters on a book or different sections of a magazine. We're gonna click here and you can see these are the different sections that you can add. You can add an RSS feed, you can add articles, you can add photos, videos coming in from YouTube, and then of course your social updates from Google Plus and other social um, aspects. For now, I'm going to show you how to do an RSS feed. And if you're using WordPress, you will already have this set up because WordPress will do this by default. Let's call this the blog. And our feed, and if you're using WordPress, it's going to be the same for just about all aspects here. It should be something like your URL and then forward slash feed. It's going to update hourly. And what I'm gonna do is you can have three different options here. One is to generate articles directly from the feed. So pulling out whatever you would typically see through like a Google reader or some service like that. Uh, you can generate the articles by going to the source URL and then pulling out everything, or you can do both. And I'm gonna click on both for now, just for kicks. Hit create. And there's your little notice that everything is successfully working. And now you'll see you've got some presentation options. So for a tablet, so for anything that's a tablet, you can show, you can actually change the style. So in this case, we're gonna keep it as a tabloid style and I'll show you what that looks like a little bit later on. You can change the background colors, which is kind of nice. There's a lot of customization you can do. If it was a phone, a smartphone, you also have the option to change it. We're gonna keep it listed as list, but again, you can change it to whatever format you want. 
You also have the option of updating the header. We're going to keep it default for now, but you can customize that. And you can change how the article is displayed with a little template uh, customization if you'd also like to do that. If for whatever reason you want to get rid of the section, just come down here, type in yes, and the section's gone. But for now, we're set up on the RSS feed, which we've titled the blog. Now we're going to go back to sections. And now let's take a look at adding a video channel because we do have a YouTube channel. Let's see, this is going to be our videos. And the channel name that we have for this is free WP training videos. So there's our channel free WP training videos. We're going to click on create. And there you go. We've grabbed a few posts now. It looks all successful. And you're also going to notice that this will start to fill in with a little bit of time. It takes a few minutes for it to fill in. Um, but remember, it's constantly building in the background as you're building this. So there's our videos. You can see, again, see it taking shape. If you want to see what it's going to look like on an Android, you can see what it's going to look like on an Android. If you want to see what it's going to look like on an iPhone, there it is on an iPhone. We're going to click back on sections here. And I'm going to show you one other thing you can do that's kind of a neat little feature with this feed. Now, remember, this can do anything. Anything that's an RSS feed, this will take in. So we have a podcast. So we're going to put our podcast here. We're going to type in our podcast feed. And we're going to select those same little options here. Hit create. Give it just a minute or so. And there we go. Now we've got our connection that shows, yes, the, the, it's connected to the right feed. And again, you can see on the right hand side, right in here, how it's going to start to build our little preview. And if you want to see what it looks like on the iPhone, then we can see what it looks like on the iPhone. Here's our podcast right now, it's still loading up. You can kind of see that little title right in there. But what's also interesting here is this works uh, kind of as like a live preview. So we'll back up here. And there's our WP training videos. If I wanted to see what this particular video section is like, I can click here. And there's what the videos looks like on an iPhone. We'll go back to tablet view. I'm going to pull back here. So this is kind of what would be um, almost like the home page, what it would look like on a tablet. And this is, we're going to click on the blog. This is what our blog would look like using this particular style. And again, we can change these different styles, but it's pretty interesting what you can do. Here's what a page of the, the most recent blog post looks like. So it's really a live preview of what everything looks like. So before you publish it, before you, um, you know, distribute it out there, you can actually see exactly how your website is going to come across through the Google Currents app. Now, one other thing I want to show you here, um, that's sections itself. We'll jump back into manage articles. So you can manage the articles of the blog. You can actually come through here. We'll click on this particular article and you can change things. Now, this is interesting because you can change the author. Um, if you've watched a, a video we had on WP training, training videos about how Google is tracking the author tags and making sure that everything's authentic. And then for SEO purposes, this is really a good idea. You can add subtitles. So if you want to put more, in my case, I put more stuff about WordPress and videos and how it relates to RSS feed here. Um, again, more SEO. If uh, I wanted to, I can choose what the type of media it is. Again, what I'm doing is I'm telling Google more about my website. So even if not a ton of people are using Google Currents, Google knows about it. Google has me on their radar, and I'm in the radar in a lot of places. This has got to help with SEO. Uh, same thing here. You can change all the different information that's about your videos. So um, the author put a little description in there, insert additional media if you wanted to. Uh, there's a media library where you can upload photos, change things if you need to. It can obviously uh, grant access. So if you have somebody you're either outsourcing this to, or if you needed to, um, you know, set you have a team and you want somebody to do this, you can put uh, managers here and upload those. And then finally, when you have all of this built and you kind of like your little preview, you hit distribute. Now this you can go through and add it to. This actually will tell you how to add it to your uh, Android phone if you wanted to do that, but it will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to go through and sync everything. Same thing with iPhone testing and, and uh, iPad testing. You want to verify your content ownership. This is really just done with a click right here, and I've already verified it um, on a the actual live version of this, so I'm not going to do that now, but it, it you click on it and it verifies. It's pretty simple. And then finally, you distribute. 
what you'll do is choose the publication date. So if you wanted to publish in the future, you could. So we just, you know, in my case, um, when I published this, I published it that day. I just clicked publish and it was live. It was on my phone. It was amazing. It was uh, a really, really easy thing to do. And this is so simple. That's what I really want to point out to you. Like this sounds like, oh man, there's a whole nother thing I'm going to have to do. But this takes what 15 minutes to set up and once you have it set up your website automatically updates through those rss feeds or through your youtube channel and everything is published through google currents you don't have to mess with it it's literally done for you so it's something that i thought i would pass on it's an exciting concept it's something that takes 15 minutes so if it doesn't work who cares? But for 15 minutes and this thing does take off, at least you're going to be one of the few people who were on the forefront of this wave. So again, the app itself is called Google Currents. Um, one other thing I want to talk, uh, show you real quick is in the distribute section, you see down here, if you wanted to delete the entire edition, which in this case I do, because again, I already have a WP training videos add up. I'm just going to click yes, hit update, and that edition is gone. So even if you mess up, you can just come in here, delete it, and then start over again. So um, in fact, there is, I'll show you, there's my WP training videos right there. So you can see that it clearly is uh, you know, up and running. But uh, that's all I've got. I hope that you enjoyed this particular video. And again, the app itself is called Google Currents. I hope you find it useful. And if you have any questions at all, uh, just leave a comment below this video. I appreciate your time. Take care.